Hello everyone, I'm Lord Midas and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Holy Fury. We are currently playing as Emperor Demetrius the Strong of Carpathia, formerly known as Emperor Yaroslav the Strong. In the last episode we had a lot of uprisings from infidels in our realm and we took care of them. And we're currently involved in a war of our ally who is attacking Tarjan Roslavl and trying to uh, subjugate him. I think he will win this war, which will actually not be that good for us because that will expand Khazaria right next to our borders. And Khazaria is a huge Tangri nomadic realm and we don't want to be um, at war with them if we can avoid it. At the same time, our son uh, Rodislav Dimitrisovich is ready for marriage and I've been looking around and I found that we could marry him to a strong woman called... Kirsogon, uh, who is a courtier in Amalfinus. She has excellent stats. Uh, however, we will suffer negative 400 prestige from marrying a courtier. But I could not find any other better prospect where we would get a usable alliance, etc. So I think we're going to go for stats and take the negative 400 prestige hit. We will use that. And I've also found that the King of France is currently unmarried. So we're gonna ask him to get betrothed to one of our daughters, Verkhoslava. And thereby we can get a very nice ally in the form of France in case we need help. We will send that. And now we're gonna just uh, sit around. Our threat is almost at the limit where we can already start declaring wars. I'm going to dismiss my levies. And these are all of my retinues, I would assume. But uh, how is it more than 2,000? Okay. Yeah, there are some event spawn troops. Okay, I remember that now. And then we're going to just wait around. And as, as soon as the threat is down, we, we will declare wars. However, I am afraid... That, that might get delayed even a little bit more because we're also at the point where we're very close to implementing the religious revocation law in just a few months, after which we will go ahead and revoke the titles of our vassals. So let's resume the game. To the virtuous Emperor Demetrius, blessings upon you and your house. I have decided to accept this, your suggestion of a betrothal between Verkoslava and King Anselm of France. Very nice. Our son has gotten married and we will use this to get some extra prestige because 10 gold is basically nothing at this point. We have a lot of gold. We will respect the people's wealth and get some prestige back. And we will use this prestige very nicely by um, making more buildings in our capital. So Drazina training ground, I'm going to upgrade that further. And people are again leaving the defensive pact against me. I don't understand why this happens sometimes. This is uh, probably a Christian defensive pact that has just disbanded. But the uh, pagan defensive pact still exists. Okay. High Chief Vakrim of Nitra, one of our vassals down here who hasn't converted, has declared war to revoke a title from one of his vassals. Okay, uh, not a big deal. What do we want to appoint? Court physician. What What happened to Gwen, who was previously our court physician? That is weird. Did he die or something? Because I did not receive any notification about Gwen. We did invest in him quite a bit. I think there's no way to find out now. So I'm just going to go ahead and appoint Yaroslav, a Slavic vassal who currently likes us quite a bit, um, as the court physician. He is the one down here. And maybe he will uh, accept religious conversion now? We have to be at peace in order to request that. This is a big problem. Being at peace is necessary for us for, for a lot of things, and our allies just keep calling us to wars. High Chief Demet thoroughly hates me by now and likely wishes me dead. The feeling is of course mutual. We will keep antagonizing him and become rivals. My liege, 
I believe one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. This is the High Chief of Viatichia down here. We will obligate him and try to get him out of potential vas uh, factions. There are many valuable texts that Patriarch Neophytus has brought with him when moving to Novgorod. Today he asked me if I was interested in learning more about iconoclast arts and laws. Tell me what are your lawmakers? We get diplomacy. Learning. So what exactly do we need? I think we're going to go ahead with learning. We will learn a little bit about their legends and gain learning. Honored Emperor, thank you for reminding me of my duties and obligations as your vassal. You are right, of course, for the foreseeable future. You will have my promise not to support factions conspiring against you. Very good. And the reason I went ahead with this learning is because I want to see if we can compose a book. And now it should be available because for composing a book you have to be uh, at least 8 in learning. And what I want Emperor Demetrius to do is that since he has a lot of experience of conquering lands and expanding territory and fighting wars, basically, it's, it will be very nice that if he can write a book on martial education, which could be used by his descendants. So we will start um, to compose a book. To compose a work of literature is not an undertake undertaking for everyone. Having spent a lot of time thinking it over, I have summoned my closest advisors and fetched the best scribes. When they ask me what this work sh shall be focused on, I pause, but only for a second. I will be tackling uh, the complexity of war or something along those lines, or we can write a book on diplomacy or intrigue. We are absolutely zero in diplomacy. Intrigue could be useful, but we're going to go ahead with the um, um, war book will not chronicle our family history, we will just go ahead with the war book. Hopefully he can complete it in his lifetime. We do have a lot of piety. I think we've gained a lot of piety by doing a lot of the things related to the mass conversion events. Just a few more months. One year basically, more or less. Because as soon as it is below 5%, we can go ahead with the wars. 89% war score here, so he should win soon. And I think this is time that we can also go ahead with the religious revocation law. Uh, the Patriarch supports us. High Chief Put Chief of Putiara, Chief Putiara of Ingria supports us, but there are a lot of opponents. We will do a council consideration and see why we don't get votes. A lot of people are not voting in favor because they don't like us. The steward doesn't vote because he's malcontent. He's Jewish, which is why he doesn't like us that much. So I will try to fix this situation now. So let's see if we can appoint someone else as the spy master. We have Yaroslav, chief of Tartu, who could be an even better spy master. So let's use him. And now that we have a better spy master, we can get him off of scheme. And back to learning technology in Constantinople. Because he has a high chance of detecting plots on his own now. And how is the situation now? He also doesn't um, like to vote for this title, uh, law. We need support from two people. Let's see if we can appoint someone who is a loyalist as the steward. This guy could be a marshal, actually, and he's a loyalist. So let's appoint him as the marshal. Now we need, I think, just one more vote. One, two, three people are voting yes, and I just need one, two, three, four people are still voting no. So just need one more vote that will come from the steward, I believe. Vladislav Haichipovaps, if I appoint you back as the steward, will you vote? No. Opinion less than 59. What can we do about that? Send him a bit of a gift. And now, he's undecided. He's undecided. Okay, in that case, I am simply going to ask him 
ask someone, for example, the Marshal, the one who likes me the most, but doesn't vote, that'll be the High Chief of Apps. Okay, then I will request council support, and he will support me. And this way we will pass the law. Great. And now we have four supporters. Let's go ahead with that. Commander of Carpathia. Voislav, Chief of Isborg. So now our uh, opinion situation is looking much better. And it will look even better once we revoke the titles of the infidel vassals. Well, just control, control mandate has been approved. So let's go ahead and start with the revocations. We're going to start ahead with the High Chief of Volhynia. Because we already have him imprisoned. He's also a traitor. So High Chiefdom of Volhynia. High Chiefdom of Der Tregovicia. Chiefdom. I'm going to revoke all of his titles. Yeah. So now he's uh, he's no longer a ruler. And we can give away this High Chiefdom here to someone who would like us. I'm just going to check if I could give this entire kingdom to someone who would sit in this place here. Um, this way I could give it, for example, to one of my uh, sons. Where's the kingdom capital down here? Kiev. And this guy... Oh, oh. Yeah, I revoked a lot of Slavic vassal titles and now he hates me. Which is why he won't uh, accept the conversion demand even after the war ends. So I'm going to continue with revoking his title as well. He might not accept the revocation. So we're going to have a lot of infighting now because of these uh, revocations. But that's fine. Let's find someone to give away these titles here. Actually, let's see if we can revoke titles from these uh, chiefs as well. Yeah. He even might not accept. He's a pretty strong chief. Can we get him killed? Maybe yes. And if he dies, then uh, Vyacheslav inherits the titles. And since he's already in prison, we can uh, revoke the titles much easily that way. Though I don't want to get a stain on his honor there by uh, getting him to be known as a killer. If the plot gets, you know, exposed. Um, so we can either kill him or simply try to revoke his title there by going into a war against him. I think I'm just going to try to revoke it directly instead of uh, risking the um, plot which might backfire on me. All right, Chiefdom of Minsk. We send their evocation there. We will raise our levies preemptively. Uh, we also have levies raised down here because we got these titles. And now we're going to go ahead and give away uh, at least these counties that we got here. So, people of my religion, my culture, men, lowborn, Dobrinia, co-chaplain of Rusa. You will get Chiefdom of Bells. Then Radoslav, Chancellor of Zamgale. Chiefdom of Beresti. You don't like me that much, so you're not going to get anything. Ruslan, 44 um, years old. Vladislav, 33 years old. You will get the Chiefdom of Podlazli? Podlazi. Actually, I don't even need to give them away because I'm back down to my uh, domain limits. I will keep them for now. Though I do have to give away at least one duchy. Otherwise, people will hate me for holding too many duchy titles. So which one can we give away? Degrovicia. 
revoke that title. And I will give away this um, smaller duchy here. To the most despicable Emperor Demetrius, may wisdom ever elude you. I will not allow you to steal my titles without a fight. You are no longer my liege lord. And other Slavic vassals have joined him in the war. I was not expecting that. And also some down here. But maybe this is not that bad because we will imprison all of them and revoke all of their titles that way. Okay. We have to appoint a new advisor because of uh, the rebellion. Duke of Bessarabia. He has come of age. We will appoint him as an advisor. And now, let's... Um, I will not call my allies to war, but I will call my vassals to join me in this uh, rebellion. Let's collect our troops down here. Emperor Demetrius of Carpathia, we have decided to help you in your holy quest to turn your subjects to the true faith by funding the construction of a new church in Carpathia. A new church is what we need, definitely. We will get a free church whenever we can. A temple has finished construction in Slutsk. Here. I was anyway going to give away that county to someone. So let's do that. So the church we can give away to a random new vassal. But the chiefdom shall go to... Actually, I'm going to keep the chiefdom as well until we fix this situation. Where is the capital of this duchy? So Dergovicia is down here. Okay. And we do not have half of it. Alright, so I'm going to give this duchy here, because this is just one county duchy, to um, Vladislav. Chiefdom of Slutsk, and also the High Chiefdom of uh, Dregovicia. This way we are back down to two duchy titles and our vassals will not hate me that much. Patriarch is not doing anything, because these people rebelled. Let's see where else can we proselytize. Here, Pskov. Hi, Chief Yostafia of Piskov, our brother. Can we demand a religious conversion? We have to be at peace. Okay. Oh. We're suffering attrition in our own county there. The supply limit is not that good some, for, somehow. Wild winter. Okay. Let's collect here in Vilnius then. And we shall go from there. I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. We shall resist our foul impulses, impulses and not uh, torture them anymore. We are trying to show ourselves as a good Christian now. And not anymore a pagan. Sudislav. Really bad commander. I don't want him. Chief of Izborsk can be the commander, and on the other side, Putiara. Excellent. Let's go there and get them. Kardaku Tarjan was allowed subjugation war has ended. Khan Albor Kardaku won, and that which that will basically mean that Khazaria is right on our doorstep now. Huge realm. He, our, one of our vassals has usurped the title chiefdom, so he was uh, trying to revoke it, and he was successful in that. We will chase them. History is a subject that has always fascinated you, and you have spent the last few weeks studying the campaigns of Alexander the Great. There are many lessons to be learned from his conquests in the East. We shall devote more time to studying this, and this is excellent, because uh, this, hopefully this helps us also to uh, learn some things to include in our book. I have to be careful that I don't go into these pagan counties which we don't own, 
or which are not part of the revolt because I will suffer massive attrition there, which you just saw I lost like 2,000 troops there. And try to get them somehow like that. If not, then I'm gonna simply stand here and siege their counties. Another black guard, not, not going to use that. And we will assault. Then go to Zaslav. Again, assault here. The world is a dangerous place and devious plots everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill your son, Sviatoslav. We are a paranoid character. We keep hearing such rumors. Mstislav can't be another commander. He's slothful, though. Would not want to... Oh, but he's a siege leader. All right, then we will get him. Putiata. I will not put our court chaplain as a commander. I'm going to replace uh, Chief Sudislav as a commander and put Vyacheslav. And Yaroslav. Assault here as well. And hopefully he tries to come back and uh, get some territory from us and end up losing. I'm going to continue sieging his territory. Oh my god, we're suffering attrition here. Oops. They're coming to attack there. How can I rely on my generals when their understanding of warfare is so lacking compared to my own? I could te teach Chief Yaroslav a thing or two. We shall make him an inspiring leader. He gratefully accepted my lessons on the act of war with more generals like me who can stand against us. No one. So combine here and assault. And combine here actually. The defensive pact has been disbanded. And this would have been the perfect time to uh, go and declare a lot of... Uh, Holy Wars, but we will have to delay that a little bit until we finish this uh, civil war here. Let's go get... I will first assault this holding and then go here. Young Sviatoslav has finished his education in stewardship. He has become Midas touched. He's a monk, so we can't get him married. But maybe we will give him a bishopric eventually. Let's go and siege Kiev. During the last few days, my son Sviatoslav has not been able to drink, keep any drink or food down. It seems as if he is suffering from food poisoning. Oh, we don't have a court physician because the High Chief of Kiev used to be it. Um, do we appoint him as the court physician? We would have had a better option, but he is also an erudite. So maybe he is uh, good enough. We will appoint him. We've got his concubine as a prisoner. He would perhaps want to get her ransomed. And we also have a lot of other people who we could ransom. So let's do that. 102 gold. Very nice. And I will put one of the commanders to be the siege leader one. So that we can go faster with the sieges here. Here is the Carpathian Revolt coming again. We will, we will go and kill them here. Drusina Training Ground has been built. Let's keep upgrading that further. I'm 
Emperor Demetrius of Carpathia, we have decided to help you in your holy quest to turn your subjects to the true faith by funding the construction of another church. Excellent. And this is in Borovici. And I know just the person who deserves to get it, and that's my son, Sviaroslav, who is a monk. He's severely ill, though, with food poisoning. Hopefully he can... Um, if he is to die, then hopefully he can um, live the last few days in a church of his own. Very nice. Your son, Walker. So Walker is now ready for education. Let's see what he's good at. Also stewardship. Sure, we will take it. And they're locked to go here. Let's go get them. Oh my god, my allies are really um, intent on their wars, aren't they? He is calling us to war. The Emperor of the Yabguid Haganet is asking us to join his war over here. We will accept. We will, as is our tradition, not go though. Let's go here. Subjugation war. Here. Nitra. So the High Chief who sits here has declared his subjugation war here. I don't mind at all because I will revoke his titles very soon. And now I think we should go here and continue to siege their territory. The trade route from Novgorod is in dire need of a new ship and equipment to be able to continue bringing in goods to our realm. We can lose 170 gold. No, we, it's too expensive. So the trade route uh, passive income, I think, is not worth the 170 gold cost that we have to pay. We would rather go ahead and make a new trade route eventually. Right, uh, salt here. Let me, I will wait until he's locked. And then siege there. Beautiful. And then go here. I've decided it might be profitable to take some time and resources and try to seriously hurt my sworn enemy. Hi, Chief Demet is an unbearable pestilence upon this world and I will not rest until I have made his life a living hell. Lose prestige and give him some kind of debuff. Nope. We will bite our time for now. We will need that prestige for our own developments. Assault that. And keep going forward to their capital. That's the one that we're trying to revoke. And I think he will be getting some uh, war score if we don't get him in that county. Assault. Our daughter, who is betrothed to the King of France, is ready for education. We shall make her a nice diplomat, even though she's very slow and has zero all through her stats except learning. Perhaps the education can bring something out of her. Attrition again. So we have to get out of here as soon as possible. And then that. I think I'm losing a lot of uh, soldiers to these assaults now, so... Oh, but we have 100% war score. So let's go ahead and end that war. He is now captured. Revoke title. That's good. And did the other vassals also get captured? Yes. So revoke that. That's what you get for uh, being Slavic and not coming across with the mass conversion like civilized people. The 
chief of Chernigov, he hates me for what? The main two... No. Too many held duchies. He desires the high chiefdom, ambitious, etc. That will be fixed very soon when I give him the titles. Okay. So we have to give away a lot of titles now. Any other prisoners that could be um, revoked? Igor. Here. Yeah, you will get revoked. And... Briachislav of Talava. You will get revoked. Drista. So all of these... Uh, a lot of the Slavic people joined him in the war. Revoke the High Chiefdom of Pax. The High Chief of Moravia. He used to be the King of Pannonia, if I'm not mistaken. Sobislav the Young. You will now be absolutely nothing. Not even a chief anymore. Because you didn't convert. If you would have converted, maybe I would have given you the Kingdom of Pannonia back. Vladimir. So we, look, we, we, we revoked a lot of titles there. Yevstafie, our brother, also did not convert. Unfortunately, his son did. As soon as he dies, he, my nephew can inherit the chiefdom, which I'm fine with. So I'm going to throw him in the oubliette. So that, uh, just to accelerate his <laughs> death, basically. Okay, we have a lot of titles to give away. And a lot of this will be just uh, going through the um, character screen here. And giving titles to people of my own religion and culture, etc. So I'm going to do this between this episode and the next one. So that you don't have to go through the tedious process of that. And then we can continue, hopefully, with our Holy Wars and expand our territory even further in the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me. If you like this video, please click thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for future updates, and let me know in the comments about your thoughts and feelings about this series so far. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.